Greetings YouTube, Simon here. Welcome back to Final Fantasy 7. And today I'm going to be showing you how you can get your hands on the beautiful Aqualung, which is a super powerful enemy skill available fairly early on during the course of the adventure. In fact, today I'm going to be showing you how to get this enemy skill even earlier than most people realise it is available. So credit for this particular tip goes to Red Mario 13 Nanaki 36 who uh, shared it with me on one of the live streams. So what you're going to want to do is make your way over to Coral, the town of Coral, and you can do this the very first time you arrive at Coral, having gone through the mountain and what have you, before you even go to the gold saucer, go into Coral prison or any of that stuff. So like I say, you can do it really, really early. Now the only thing you're going to require is a Chocobo Lure Materia, as well as the actual enemy skill materia for learning of course. Now by this stage of the game, if you're doing this as soon as it becomes available, you should have two enemy skill materias, so you can learn this for two characters at the same time. Just make sure that uh, you have both of those equipped. Now what you're going to do is leave the town and make your way over to the Chocobo tracks which are just to the bottom right hand side of the map as you exit the main town. So in terms of setup, obviously you need the enemy skill materials themselves equipped along with the Chocobo Lure Materia. Uh, now I would strongly advise that you have your party members HP as high as possible. So I'm in my early 20s here and anything above 600 should be sufficient just so you can survive the actual Aqualung attack. It is quite a nasty attack even when cast by the enemy. So with everything equipped and with your party members set up, make sure you go ahead and uh, just run around on the chocobo tracks. And it did take me about six or seven attempts to actually get a chocobo to appear. We don't actually care about the chocobo, but what we do care about is a chocobo that spawns with a single harpy enemy because that's the creature that's going to be teaching us the aqualung skill. To be honest, the harpies look a little bit unusual in Final Fantasy VII. Uh, somebody mentioned in live stream they look a little bit more like chimeras with uh, harpies tend to be more like flapping bird type things, don't they? Anyway, don't worry about the chocobo running away. That's not what we're here for. All we need to do is wait until the creature here does cast Aqualung. Uh, one thing I would advise is just make sure you keep your characters fully topped up on health because if they do not survive the Aqualung attack, then you won't be able to keep the skill, unfortunately. So just make sure that you do keep them topped up so that when it is cast, it doesn't actually kill them, which is very, very helpful if you think about it. Unfortunately, it doesn't take too long for the Harpy to decide to go ahead and cast Aqualung. So just be prepared. I do like the animation for that ability, by the way. Uh, just be prepared to either heal up your party members immediately after or unleash a really powerful attack or limit break so that you can kill the Harpy in a single attack just like that. Uh, that way you don't have to worry about your characters being killed and then you can heal them after battle. But of course, by then you've already got the Aqualung enemy skill and won't be losing it. But there we have it then folks, another enemy skill collected, we can tick it off the list, we will of course be getting them all by the end of this playthrough, but it's nice to get Aqualung early, we can even use it against the upcoming Dine boss battle, which most people certainly wouldn't have it by then, so you know, you could be one of the few. Uh, anyway guys, if you did enjoy this episode, please don't forget to drop a like, and make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel as well, we're going to be getting the Platinum Trophy as a bare minimum for this particular playthrough of Final Fantasy 7, and of course I've got a whole host of Final Fantasy content already available for you guys on the channel but thanks for stopping by today i'll see you next time